me just quickly record that. Okay, so if you're new here, you're welcome. What we do is that we bring you updates of scholarships that are running and so um so you can apply for it we we, we know that these things are quite cumbersome um information is carted all over so we try to collate all of them every time running in the week if you're a student here and you want to further your education in 2021 or you know any student that is done with university or uh, grad, um, undergraduate and they are, they are they are hoping to pursue their education don't get it wrong I'm not saying it's compulsory to pursue your education, but what I'm saying is that if you have um, um, hopes to pursue your education, uh, this is the right channel. Um, Isaac, we'll talk about that. Thank you so much for wishing me a happy birthday. I'm very excited, thank you. But business, we are back to business. Okay, so today we are not gonna take long, um, just like you know it, my name is Lois Efochewadamte. I do this session with Michael and Uncle Joe up here, but due to some circumstances beyond his control, he couldn't be here with us. He's assuring us that he's going to try as much as possible to be here with us, but if not, uh, we are still going to go on. So today, we've got a couple of scholarships. Um, I also run this session with Nana Aduma in Cancer Gen Fee. So Nana Aduma, give me a shout out in the comment section. A uh, thumbs up will do or say hi. Um, she will be updating you on the links that are readily available that we are bringing up, what I'll be mentioning. So first, I'll quickly, um, yeah, do, do do me this favor by sharing this platform on all your pages. Talk someone, call someone's name underneath, tell them that we have just started and share on your platform. You might never know, someone on your platform has so wanted this opportunity, but is not able to get it or doesn't know where to go to. So just by sharing it, they can, they can be part of the conversation. So I'll quickly move into the Queen Elizabeth Commonwealth Scholarship. So the Queen Elizabeth Commonwealth Scholarship, just like other Commonwealth Scholarships, grants you a two-year master's fully funded where you're, you're giving, um, your tuition, pay, your tuition fee is paid for, your accommodation is paid for, your stipend is also paid for. But however, this scholarship is making you study rather in a low or middle income country of the Commonwealth. So I think the last time I checked, there are 52 countries in Commonwealth. So um, you can study in any of these 52 countries in Commonwealth on a fully funded scholarship. So this application is opening um, 23rd of November, that's on Tuesday, um, in the link below, and the closing date is on 18th January 2021. So um, hopefully students are supposed to start, our decisions will be made in March 2021. So I just mentioned the Queen Elizabeth Commonwealth Scholarship. Let me give you just a, a quick recap on what Commonwealth Scholarships does. So there are some that you can, you can do um, your, your degree in a UK university, and there are some that you can do your um your your degree which is a shared scholarship so you do part part of your degrees uh, your degree in your home country and part of the degree in the uk so this is giving you opportunity to study in any um any of the uh middle income countries uh, that are part of the commonwealth so i just mentioned made mention of queen elizabeth uh, Commonwealth Scholarship. So if you have plans of doing a master's degree and you want a fully funded scholarship, um, it is not cost specific. So any course that you're thinking of, uh, you can go for this scholarship. And if you're eligible, and I mean, like you, you pass through the stages, you get your funding. Okay, so I'll quickly also moving to some um, internal scholarships. So let me give a, give a quick recap of internal scholarships. So internal scholarships are scholarships that are given by supervisors themselves. So supervisor or lecturer, um, some of them write grants. So whenever they write grants to be able to pursue a project, they, they, they are able to um, um, get students to work on the project either for a master's or either for a PhD. So uh, this scholarship funds, um, funds are given by the school themselves. So with that, if the supervisor you contact um, thinks you're a good fit and a good match, um, they give you um, the scholarship. So there is one that is, is, is I mean, um, targeting human robot interactions and ethics of artificial in intelligence and machine learning. 
So if you did economics, mathematics, statistics, something around that, uh, oh, that quickly comes to my mind. One, one girl just contacted me about that. I think I'll send her that. So they're giving a one year, uh, a one MSc thesis student to start in January um, or September 2021 fully funded. They're also giving a um, one PhD student to start in January 2021. And they are also giving a one PhD student to start in September 2021. So there are three opportunities, one a master's student, and they're looking at two PhD students, one starting in January 2021, the other starting in September 2021. And the background is that if you have computer science, you have psychology, you've done a master's in machine learning, um, you've done something in data science or electrical science, you can also apply. So what you need to do is that you need to check the Department of Electrical and Computer Engineering for their deadline. And you also need to email a professor called Aja Moon, Aja Moon. So if you have that, drop it in the comment section. You can also check on that. So um, you can check on, you can click on the link. It gives you further information, but um, he, he, obviously, if you are contacting such a supervisor, you, you have to make reference to this email uh, and this link. So you say that, okay, um, hi, Prof. Um, Aja Moon, I just saw a call for a master's thesis or master's scholarship in your, your, your group um, in this link below, and I'm interested. I mean, you can start that supervisor conversation. I mean, targeting a supervisor, you need to attach a proposal of what they are going to do. I mean, a rough idea of what you want to do and you attach your CV as well. So, I mean, if you, if you want ways of contacting a supervisor on that, we can have a quick chat around that. Um, yeah. Uh, but yeah, there's an, a one at master's program and uh, two PhD programs. Um, so there is another PhD program uh, at the McGill University and uh, the research topics is looking at neural network accelerator design space exploration, design of domain specific architectures, automatic code generation for neural network accelerators, machine learning applied to compiler programs. So if you're interested, you can contact the email um, down there or you can click on um, uh, the websites that, um, um, I mean, the link that Nana Duma is sharing in McGill University below um, for more details. But mostly, most of these scholarships are internal scholarships and you need to um, contact the supervisor directly. So um, there is another university that is looking for masters, PhDs, postdoc, and they didn't specify the number but it's mainly for computer science students. So if you also know any computer science, it looks as though all, most of the scholarships are for computer science based students. But yeah, I mean, um, sometimes too, if you, if you have a background in psychology, just like you said, if you have a background also in um, 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 computer science, data science, anything around that, you can, you can channel your area of scope to that place because they can always guide you on the right path in, in being able to pursue that PhD, even if your background is not really that concrete in that topic. So there is uh, a professor looking for masters and PhD students uh, to work on intelligent connectivity. I mean, see, data is the new gold. Mark my words, data is the new gold. So a lot of things are moving into data science, um, data analytics, and all of that, because if you have the right data, you'll be able to channel any sales project. If you have the right data, you'll be able to uh, do um, projects to be able to fit a particular niche, okay? So um, data is the new gold, it's very important, and as such, there are a lot of calls for that. If you are just joining in, um, this is the scholarship news in brief where we, we bring you updates of scholarships that are open. And um, also, if you're, if, you're, if you're new here, um, do share our platform quickly. Um, Derek Quickle, if you're there, this is really, really a good field for you. Um, they are looking at funding masters and uh, PhD students in data science. And I know you do that a lot. So do um, look out for that. Um, Okay, there, there's another opportunity um, that is um, a PhD uh, student. So this was sent directly to me because it's a PhD in my school. 
And so um, the, I know some of the professors in that faculty. If you fall within that scope, if you fall within this area of research, do hit my DM as soon as possible and we will have a conversation and I'll give you right mentors to be able to help you with that. So uh, they said there's a PhD studency, uh, studentship in the School of Environment, Earth and Ecosystems in my school, which is the Open University, which is starting in October 2021 and it's for international students. So the projects are below. It's written in stone, the natural and cultural heritage of Carboniferous, uh, rapid emplacements, predicting the resilience of coastal habits for climate change, hyperspectral signals of climate change in grassland ecosystems, tropical forest carbon habitat structure and biodiversity, impact of microplastics on soil nutrients after the dust has settled. I like the topic, after the dust has settled. Building greener cities with trees, nature and origin of new runoff traces in planting and the evolution of climate carbon cycle through the last interglacial and deep ocean circulation dynamics during warm sessions. So these are all like environment, earth and ecosystems. So um, I quickly had to contact a friend asking him, okay, so what are the people that, uh, which people are, uh, really uh, needed for this particular scholarship? What background um, should you have to be able to be eligible for this scholarship? He just said that you need maybe agriculture, environmental sciences, if you are mathematics, if you are modeling, if you did statistics, and if you have some lab experience, you can apply for it. You can channel your needs through that. If you're a climate change activist and you also want to be uh, interested in the conversations around climate change, you can also go for this. So there are 11 different, I think 11 or 12 different PhD students that they are looking for in that field. And all what you need to do is you send your CVs and a contact of three academic referees um, and applications should be sent to a particular email address. If you click on the link that Anadma is putting in the comment session, uh, your email address you, you have to send to is there. And the application deadline is on the 11th of January, 2021. 11th of January, 2021. So if you find yourself within the scope of, um, of scholarship and you're interested in it, um, you can apply for that. And bear in mind, um, they are just looking for a student with lab experience. So even if you're an undergraduate student, please give it a shot. Um, if you're an undergraduate student in that um, um, scope, please give that a shot. Um, I think that's all for today. I'll just quickly um, recap everything that I said here. So first, I started with the Queen Elizabeth um, scholarship, which was giving a two-year master's in a fully funded master's um, in a low or middle income countries of the Commonwealth. Applications are opening on Tuesday on the 23rd of November and they are closing on the 18th of January. And the other one is they are looking for a master's students and two PhD students to start in January and September. If you have a background in computer science, psychology, machine learning, data science, electrical science, you can apply for it. You just need to email the professor Aja Moon. Uh, you can look at um, the link for that scholarship. Uh, the McGill University is also offering um, 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 interested applicants. They didn't even state whether they needed a PhD or master's, but I'm sure if you, whichever field that you're interested in, you can just put in the application and tell them what you're interested in. If they find you as a very strong candidate and they want to give you a shot, they would give you a shot. And that's in topics such as neuro, neutral network accelerator design space, design of domain specific architecture, automatic code generation of neural networks, machine learning applied to comply programs. Um, another supervisor is looking for master's, PhD, and postdoc to join an intellectual community at UCLA. And the last one was 11 uh, PhD studentships that are being offered in my school for the Open University. 
So thank you so much for joining in. If you have your questions, um, do drop it in the comment section. I'll be sure to answer your questions. If you do not have any questions, this is where the show ends. Um, thank you so much um, for tuning